A 17 year old from Westbrook has been arrested and charged with terrorizing. Good evening. I'm Pat Callahan and I'm Cindy Williams. The teenager is accused of making threats on social media, targeting a specific group of students at Portland's Casco Bay High School. That threat prompted school officials to cancel classes today. While this threat has been resolved, Portland police say incidents like this involving the same groups of young people are happening more and more. And they say if something doesn't change, someone's going to get killed. News Center Maine Samantha York has more. It's normally bustling with students this time of day, but Casco Bay High School sits empty Wednesday after a threat toward a group of students here surfaced on Snapchat Tuesday afternoon. The person was displaying a handgun and uh, making threats towards students at Casco Bay High School. The gun turned out to be fake, but the crime is still very real. Police have arrested a 17 year old student from Westbrook, charging him with terrorizing. Out of an abundance of caution, the school was closed today so that we could take the subject into custody and not risk uh, having something happen. Portland Police Lieutenant Robert Martin says the threat alone is concerning, but there's something else. We've dealt with numerous uh, incidents uh, that appear related to the individuals that were involved in this. Martin says the teen who initiated the threat is part of one of several groups around the state known to instigate trouble with one another. He couldn't go into specifics, but says it's much more complicated than a school rivalry. It's the same group of, of youth from you know the same circle of friends that we're seeing involved in these incidents. On top of that, Martin says many times these threats have been accompanied by a gun, adding the person on the other side of the threat doesn't know whether it's real or not. These guns look like they're real handguns and a police officer, uh, a citizen that's uh, you know concealed carry, um, you know would be justified in shooting someone that points one of these guns at them. As police see more and more of these threats, they're urging parents to pay attention to what their child has for weapons, saying, if not, be ready for the possible consequences. Someone is going to get hurt, uh, if not killed, uh, in, in one of these incidents. In Portland, Samantha York, News Center, Maine. Now, police are not releasing the teenager's identity because he's a minor, but the terrorizing charge he's facing is a felony, and there are a number of conditions he has to follow, including being barred from school grounds at Casco Bay High School or from communicating with students there. Now, classes will resume tomorrow, and school officials are holding a meeting tomorrow night for any parents, students, or community members who want to discuss the incident and how the school handled it, as well as school safety in general.